Well, 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 I've been meaning to do this for a long, long time. Bye bye, bookmark. And hello, roadmap. Add to home screen. Here we go. So I'm going to go over the roadmap features, what it does, what it doesn't do, and then I'll compare it to, to what used to be the web bookmark, the solution we had until now. Right away, well, so much faster, so much faster than the web app. As you can see, there's uh, there's three shortcuts underneath. Graph list, uh, the name of whatever graph I'm in, and quick capture. Let's start with quick capture because the app, I think it's designed to be your information capture or information gathering front end. You just start writing. Boom, send and it's sent. And here you have all recent entries. You have here on the right, uh, the little data sim symbol. It, this green means it's been uploaded. If not, it would be orange or even red, I guess. And all of the all of the updates that I've done, and you can show as many as you want. Now note that these are not things that you can edit. Okay, these blocks are set. And even if you change them on the graph, they will be set. Another cool thing is that here, you can just choose whatever graph you want to send the block to and whatever page by default you get today. If you remember the, the name of the page, the plan, it just sends whatever block you want here. Let's open the brackets and let's say next Monday. So natural language works when you're, when you're building a new block. It doesn't work when you have to select the page. I love that you can send whatever block you want just uh, with one simple click wherever you want it in terms of page or graph. I love how quick it is. I love how you can capture pictures or files that you have on your phone and it just uploads them. This is super, super convenient. Now, I don't love that you have to basically send one block at a time. If I enter here, see, it's no problem. I get an indent. But if I want to make another parent block, then I would just, there's no way. I mean, I can just click this button here to indent left, but it doesn't work. It, it works to make another child of the block, but it doesn't work to create a parent. So I would just have to send and then create a new parent block. And that's quick capture. Now if we go to star screen, the graph itself, you will see how I didn't even have time to finish the sentence, how quick it is. In terms of how it works, it works just like it used to work before, like the web version. You basically have all of the features that you have on your computer. It loads the graph onto the phone so you can go offline. And it doesn't do this thing where every new block is stacked with the day and the, and the time, and you can create parent blocks. Yeah, basically it works well. Now, drag and drop is fine. Not great, but it's fine. If it's very much here on the left, then it's kind of hard not to click the, the bullet itself. See how the little arrow here is, well, it needs more space basically. What I do like and was available before on the web app was that you can drag left to right to go back to whatever you were or the other way around. So navigation wise, that's fine. Because it loads so fast, I think it's more likely that I will use it to check on information. And finally, graph list, you get a list of all your graphs. You can uh, search by graph names. You cannot search what's within the graph, but if you happen to have hundreds of graphs, this could be useful as this could be useful. You could add a shortcut and then it adds your shortcutted graph up here on the screen. Now, in terms of review, what I said before, uh, huge loading improvements. Quick capture is greatly improved in terms of usability. I don't personally like that I get the day and the time tagged every time. I wish this could be edited, but more on that later. And I hope it keeps on improving. I hope this is version 1.0, but I like it as it is. I think it has a chance to become my quick capture driver. Now, so into specific things that I would like to see. Uh, these tags, I would like to be able to customize them, for example, or to eliminate them altogether and just be able to enter blocks as I do in the graph interface, like in here. And like in the graph interface, I would like to be able to create uh, parent blocks. Now, in terms of quick capture, I imagine many times I will want to capture uh, websites or whatever else. Let's just put a website as an example. What I would like to see is this menu here, share with, to give me the option to share with, with Rome. Now, this is not here. And obviously this menu is everywhere on the iPhone and it's a shame that I cannot share directly and capture things directly from whatever, whatever app I'm in. Obviously, I would love to have a widget 
like this ones. I think here the, the obvious inspiration should be things uh, where you have like these little widgets, bigger ones, huge ones, and it's very easy to check and introduce new stuff into what would be in Rome quick capture. Now, I would love to have a custom keyboard like the one that I have with uh, SwiftKey, right? That introduces special features within the keyboard. So instead of having this bar here, probably could be solved in a better way having a custom keyboard. That would be amazing. In fact, having a custom or semi-custom user interface for the mobile would be great, especially, for example, with the sidebar, which is suboptimal in here, how it opens, how fluid it is, and how you access stuff. I like way better the, the icons down here. They are faster, way more responsive. And if they could be customized, that would be amazing. Also, I would like custom help. If I click help here, I get uh, commands that are, that are what you would use on a computer. Shift tab, shift return, control, all this is completely useless to me in a mobile environment. For example, how do I right click on Rome if I want to make, for example, today's day log into a list or into a bigger heading? I don't know how to do that. Could you imagine if this search searched within all of my graphs instead of only the title? That would be mind bending. And finally, I think that the golden standard is things. Note how moving stuff feels way better. And it's easier because I don't have to like click on the little icon here to move it. No, I can just click anywhere. And I understand that, you know, in Rome we want to edit, but here it's no problem. I just click once and it opens. In Rome, it doesn't even have to open the block. It could just show me the cursor here. But when I hold, then it, may, it, it allows me to move what would be a block in Rome. Here for things, this is the interface I use when I want to capture stuff, I think it will change now. On the upper part of the separating bar or this, I have whatever I have to act on today. Inside here, I list everything that I have to do on my walk today. And note that it's a copy paste from my room, but I was using this because I didn't have anything better. I hope that from this point on, I will be using the Roam app. Underneath the bar, everything up down here, it's just things that I quick captured. That's why they're kind of like even hard to decipher if you don't know what, what I meant. But I love how easy I can just grab stuff here, move it, and you don't, you don't hear it, but there's a little vibration when these things move and it feels just so much better than what we have right now on the mobile Roam app. I love how I can just set up a very easy date shortcut here. I love how I can add a reminder and it will remind me using the phone's not only interface to set up the alarm, but using the phone's notification system. I think that's awesome and an opportunity to improve on the Roam app. And finally, we saw how in Roam I can click and drag to move up and down the history of the pages that I've visited. But here, uh, they also use it for the blocks themselves. So here I could, you know, change the date, or I could move the block somewhere else, multi-select. I think this is something that might improve greatly Roam Mobile. That's a review of all the features, what has improved, what hasn't improved, and things I would love to see. Enjoy.